by virtue of our age. This is a literature department, and I want to talk to the younger people because I believe that the young are uh, the old like us are lots of play, play. You know, you can uh, break us, but you cannot change us. We are now set in our hands, thinking. But the young are lots of gold. You cannot break them, but you can change them. They are at an age where they are prepared to listen to new ideas, new things, and modulate those things according to your own life, own situation, own understanding. By creating industrial production, which has taken away so many jobs of the village people. Right? So the village youth, instead of working on their small patches of land, they are migrating to the cities. And as you know, in the cities, there are, after jobs are limited. So they have a very hard life, but somehow our education has created a mindset, mindset that a job with a white collar is better than working with your own hands and being independent. They don't mind being slaves to others, to a boss, if they have a white collar, but they do not want to be master of themselves, even if it is four acres, three acres of patch of land. In a two, three, three, four years ago, acquire as much as you can, maximum, not optimum, maximum. You hardly see those people happy. What is the goal of life? All the work that we do, all the you know, action that we do, we, whatever we do, we create, a, we create literature, we make painting, we, we work in a corporate office, so many activities. What for? What is the goal of life? What is the goal of life? I read somewhere that our education produces, tries to produce successful people. Successful people. But the world is full of successful people. What the world does not have are good people, good people, virtuous people. Education should produce virtuous people. Aristotle, Sonam Beta Nam Aristotle, 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 politics and literature mein kum ka politics ka kitab hai. Aristotle said the goal of education is to produce men and women of virtue. So do you think today's education this is virtue. It stresses success, package, placement, huh? 10 lakh, 15 lakhs, succeed, do better than the other, compete. This is all recipe for unhappiness. Huh? Recipe for unhappiness. What is the goal of life? The goal of life is happiness. Happiness. And uh, Again, uh, my friend Aristotle. So Aristotle and Plato, two Greek thinkers. They are Greek, appropriated by the West, but they are Eastern thinkers. So they think like the Eastern people. Aristotle says, goodness brings wealth, but wealth does not bring goodness. So, so what are these important things? These are the great thinkers of Anubhav. Experience ke aadhar pe unho unho ye baate kahi hai. And these can inflect our way of thinking and ultimately the quality of life that we need. So, happiness is the goal of life. In humare uh, yaan to ye purani, bahut purani baat. Sukh. But sukh milta kaise? How do you get happiness? In Aristotle, Aristotle tradition, there is one answer, and in our tradition, there is the other answer. Prabhachan is over, yeah? Prabhachan is over. But I know literature also, let me tell you. The, there was a poet, there was a critic, Longinus. Longinus. The sublime, on the sublime. Longinus in On the Sublime, he was a great devotee of Aristotle. 
He was born about 200 years after Aristotle, 150 years. He was a great devotee of Aristotle. He says that the goal, the teacher has said, the goal of life is happiness. You know why? How Aristotle said it? Suniya, very interesting. Hai. Aristotle says that cannot be the goal of life. The answer is Suniya, baby. May I wish I knew Telugu because in Telugu I will be wonderfully communicating with you. Eh? That cannot be the goal of life which everyone wants. You understand? जो सब चाहते हैं वो जिंदगी का है या गोल नहीं कर सकते वट डू पीपल वॉन्ट स्टेटस पावर मनी ठीक है स्टेटस पावर मनी राइट दीज आर नॉट दीज कैन नॉट बी दी गोल बिकॉज अबाउट ईच वन समबडी विल आस्क यू वाई डू यू वॉन्ट समबडी वॉट दी गोल ऑफ लाइफ आई वॉन्ट स्टेटस वाई ओ देन आई कैन डू दिस देन आई कैन डू no if you can if you ask why and that is a means of doing something means instrument instrument of karana karana karaka status power and money anybody can ask why do you want and they are instruments of something so that which is an instrument cannot be the goal theek hai logic is it okay back there that what is an instrument cannot be the goal if you have an axe tax kulari that is all the goal the goal is to break the wood right so an instrument cannot be the goal so the, what is the goal of life then we start to ask in his book ethics it's not only as a book ethics you can tell these people they are not talking ethics he says the goal is happiness because if you tell somebody i want to be happy nobody will ask you why do you want to nobody will ask you why So happiness is the goal of life. Now, how to gain happiness? How to be happy? Our Jainer says, Guruji has said, happiness is the goal of life, but he has not explained how to get happiness. So, our Jainer tries an answer. He says, for happiness, you need good company and good fortune. The answer is not better. Good company and good fortune. अच्छा भाग्य होना चाहिए. और अच्छी संगति होगी सत्संग एंड ई सेज वाई आई बिगिन विद गुड कंपनी बिकॉज इफ यू आर इन बैड कंपनी यू विल डिस्ट्रॉय योर गुड फॉर्चून ऑल्सो अगर आपकी संगति अच्छी नहीं है तो अगर का आपका भाग्य अच्छा भी है तो वो भाग्य भी बिगड़ जाए संगति सो इट इज फर्स्ट गुड से सत्संग सत्संग कंपनी ऑफ द गुड एंड नाइस पीपल is a very precious you know value in our indian life for us ma baap bhi kehte hain apne parents tell the child why you go with that fellow he is no good you should not go with him you should not go spend time with him yes because the right company is very important at that age you are shaped by your peers and if your company is not good you will start playing cards you will start smoking or you know all these things or you will start writing poetry which is also bad because to write poetry you have to be unhappy a healthy man cannot write poetry healthy man is too busy being happy so you have to be a little unhappy sad all young people write poem at one time or the other when they fall in love they think they fall in love and then they write beautiful poems you know the Stars, the stars were shining in the sky, and there were clouds in the sky. Without wondering, there are clouds. How can there be stars? But they think that clouds and stars, you know, very beautiful images. But poetry comes from some kind of dissatisfaction. In Punjab, in our my place, if a boy starts writing poetry, parents get worried, and they say, "Look for a girl and get him married," <laughs> <laughs> or he may end up in an asylum. <laughs> you see? So that's why I said he may start playing cards, he may start smoking, or he may start writing poems. So good company. So I'm trying to say good company because bad company will destroy your good fortune. But okay, you can choose your company. You have the freedom to choose your company. But can you choose your bhagya? Can you choose your fortune? How can you do it? 
how to get, how to have good fortune. And Jaina says, we are mere mortals. We are mere mortals. What can we do except pray? That's what we do. And if we have understood life, we are grateful to God for the suffering that He has not given us. Not only for what He has given us, but also the suffering that He has given us. Abraham Lincoln, remember Abraham Lincoln, President of the USA? He said, I used to pity myself for my torn shoes, torn shoes, till I saw a man who had no feet. Who had no feet. I used to feel bad about my torn shoes. So, the suffering that we have not received, which we see in others, if we are evolved human beings, there is no difference between the suffering of others and the suffering of ourselves. See, if we are at that level, where the suffering of others can bring sadness to you in the same way as your own, then you are a very evolved human being. See, so he says, good fortune we cannot choose. All we are mortal. All we can pray to the divine that we should, well, God take care of us. We should not be specific. Not specific. Give me a bungalow, give me a good husband, give me a Mercedes car and all this. Because God is not a tradesman. And our God in, the, in Puri, Jagannath Puri, He has no ears, He has no hands. He doesn't listen to you and He will not do anything for you. So what's the use of praying to Him? He cannot listen. So the God is a Sakshi, observer. He only watches you, what you do, what you do. So remember, when we are doing something, we should know we are being watched. There is a Sakshi. And in fact, in each one of us, we are two. Each one of us, we are two. Bhukta, those who do, those who experience, and the Sakshi inside who observes us. Observes us. There is in Tetriya Upanishad, two very beautiful events. Two birds sit on a branch of tree. Imagine, it's a, let's say, berry tree, berry tree. Two birds sit on a branch of a tree. One eats the fruit, the other watches. The other watches. Picture, imagine kiya apne. Peed ke upar shakha pe, do parindhe baihte hai. Ek parindha kha raha hai, amrood or whatever. Or dousra usko watch ka hai. Now, at one level, this is a beautiful picture and a very great professor at Banaras Hindu University, Professor Agrawal, he was a painter also. So he has printed an edition of Taitiriya verses with paintings on this side. So he has painted this to birth. So literally it is a beautiful picture, but it can have many other meanings. My wife is also South Indian, but she is not a characteristic kind of but in a typical Ayangar household, the husband eats and the wife watches. Husband eats. Muri khata hai, but nani dekhti hai. Her brother and brother's wife. You see, there is a tradition in the family, the husband will sit and eat and the wife serves and watches. So two birds sit on the same branch of a tree, one eats. But this is the gross meaning. The real meaning is, you know, our, our uh, poetry, or whatever, our poetry is like a very clear stream of water. You know, we feel that the bottom is very near, but when we put our foot into it, the water comes right up. So this is a very simple two lines. Two birds sit on a branch of a tree, one eats the fruit, the other watch it. A, a gross Punjabi will say, so what? To fill kya karen? Maybe kya sakte? But the real meaning is, that in this world, which is the branch of a tree, we, one, we are there, and we are two, Bhakta, the eater of the berries, and the Sakshi, the observer. We can hide everything from others, but we cannot hide anything from ourselves. And one definition of Paap, what is a Paap? Paap is that which you cannot openly speak. That act which you cannot mention, 
that thought which you cannot mention to others is power. So therefore, great people, they are they are only one. What they are, what others see them, and what they are, what they think of themselves. Generally, good people do not think much of themselves. But there are three persons. What I think I am, what I am, in fact, and what others see in me. In truly educated people, truly educated, not to disagree. These three persons become one. One. What he is, that's how he sees, that's how he understands himself. So, one China says, the happiness comes from good company and good fortune. For good fortune, you can do nothing except pray. So, there is a room for prayer. Whatever God you worship, whichever religion you are in, whatever your caste, whatever this, there is always a point in thinking that there is a larger entity beyond yourself. Hmm? There is a larger entity. And it is a psychologically very, 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 very peace-giving concept. The peace-giving concept. Okay. Bhagavan Dekhle. Okay. So he will take care. You see? So this is the Aristotle answer. What do we say in India? How to be happy? The other day I was in Meerut University. It was the day I fell ill very seriously in the evening. But I was giving convocation at this. And I was talking to like this. You know, only there were large number. Because they were all passing out convocation. So I told them, you cannot become happy if you look for your own happiness. This is the first thing, Indian answer. You cannot become happy if you want to make yourself happy. You will become happy only if you make others happy around you. Others happy. And uh, a mother in an Indian family. You see, a mother in an Indian family is always making others happy. The child will come from school, she has already cooked a vegetable and say, I won't eat it. I don't like bridges. Huh? They say, what do you want to do? And sometimes, even if she is tired, a working son will come at 11.30 in the night, 12 at night, the wife will not get up, but the mother will get up. Do you want to eat something? You get the point. You must have experienced all these things. So you see, you cannot get happiness if you search for it for yourself. You can get happiness only by making others happy. And that is, that comes from not making a distinction between your happiness and the other people's happiness. One of the vrittis in yoga for Udeta, etc. One of the qualities that they want you to cultivate is being happy in the happiness of others. Normally, normally, our own dukkha, sorrow, appears more than that of anybody and the other person's happiness appears larger than ours. Right? But with that transition you have to make. So that uh, as uh, uh, the statement in, uh, by Krishna to Arjun, Arjun was a Punjabi one. Mote Dimata, boss mind. Krishna was a Kintu Parantu man. You know, Kintu Parantu UP person. If you talk to a UP person, he will say, yes, you are right, but Kintu. But Kintu ke baad, he will say Parantu. So Krishna was a Kintu Parantu person. And above that, he became a Gujarati. And Gujaratis are very Misana. You know what is a Misana? Ah, they are. They will never let you know what they are actually thinking. So if you have read Bhagavad Gita, first, <laughs> first Krishna tells Arjun, karma, karma is action, must do something. And in the next chapter he says, knowledge is jnana. Now Arjun being a Punjabi gets confused. He says, sir, you are talking of different things, please tell me one thing. Whether jnana or karma. And then he confuses him further by saying, in fact, both are the same. 
ज्ञान और कर्म में भेद नहीं ज्ञान युक्त कर्म ही भक्ति तो दैट्स ए वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट देन इज एन नहीं नहीं आप तो हमको दिखाओ यू शो मी योर पावर देन यू नो विराट विराट रूप इज ए मेटर इफ यू आर ग्रॉस माइंडेड इफ यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन थिंग देन यू हैव टू एक्चुअली सी थिंग्स only then you can understand so then i don't understand when you is this is this and that anyway so the civilizational alternatives are there the whole our in indian life you disagree with me that i will like the i i was talking to banaras in the university girls on the 75th year celebration i told them look i have lived longer i lived for 70 years you are young i have my way of looking at things you don't have to agree But you examine, examine in the light of what you say, and you reach your own conclusion. Even in Bhagavad Gita, after giving the answers to 17 questions by Krishna, in chapter 18, verse 63, Krishna says, "I have explained everything to you. Now you decide yourself." He doesn't say you do it. He says you decide yourself. That freedom you have, so you decide yourself. So you know, there are three values. Which I feel, regardless of religion, caste, region, language, these are Indian values. And every mother, every father, not generally, generally not father, because father also need those values often. But uh, the mothers will generally uphold those values. First is sanyam. Sanyam means restraint. Restraint. Restraint in everything. When I was dean in the JNU, I came out of the office and I saw a boy, you know, standing like this with his hand here and his shirt going like this. So I caught hold of his hand and put it down. I said, "Look, you are not in a garden. You are in a university. There are girls walking. There are boys walking. Stand properly. Keep your arms and hands under control. There are some people when they walk, they walk." aggressive you should sankoch se chalna sankoch sanyam sanyam in the way you conduct yourself sanyam in your speech the words you use i was a my daughter was five years old and one day i scolded her and i used some harsh words she told me papa you read panini you know you mentioned panini you read all the those books books and then you such language i will do i learned a great lesson there is no point in reading good ideas if you cannot put them in your life if you cannot so restraint in speech restraint in conduct restraint in speech restraint in action what you do what you do what you don't do you have to think whether it is right or not should i should i not do it kathopanishad have you heard of kathopanishad the character the exponent is nachiketa nachiketa is a young boy and uh, his father is distributing all his wealth and at one point the father says that uh, i have given all that i value to me now i have distributed everything that i value nachiketa seven eight years no you have not given away everything because you value me most of all And you are not given me. <laughs> he ignored him twice. Third time when he said he got angry, he said, "I give you to death, Yamaraj." And the Yamaraj came. And the Yamaraj says, "It was not your time, but because your father cursed you, I have come. But I give you a chance. You ask me some questions, three questions, and I will answer them." You can ask me in those three. You can ask me that you want to live, and I will grant you that. And the boy said, "No, I will not. I I want to know what happens after death. Can one can one live in such a way that death holds no fear? And can the karmas, the actions that we do?" Make our after life, next life, whatever, better. Three things. And Yamaraj say, ask for a Mercedes, ask for a bungalow, ask for a beautiful wife. Why are you asking these silly questions? 
He said, no, those are all transient. They will come and go. Everybody will have, everybody will lose. I want to know this. And one answer, which is in this context. And I said, in actions and others, you have to decide whether what I am doing is right or not. He says, every one of us, you dhyan se suni, this is Yamaraja telling Nachiket, every one of us, at every stage in our life, every moment, is faced with a choice. Amare saamne har vakat, bolte vakat, jate vakat, karte vakat, maangte vakat, dete vakat, dete vakat, choice hoga. Choice kya hoga hai? Between what we want to do and what we should do. Hum kya karna chahate hai aur hume kya karna chahiye. I will start with the most gross example of giving. हम खरीदने जाते हैं मैंने गो टू बाई समथिंग एंड आज दिन मैं कितना पैसा दस रुपया वी ओपन द पर्स और जो सबसे गंदा दस रुपये का नोट होता है सबसे डेटी वो निकाल के देते मोस्ट ऑफ आई यूज इन आई लर्न फ्राम लची के था दिस इज नॉट गुड यू गिव द बेस्ट जो सबसे अच्छा आपके पास नोट है वो दीजिए सो इवन वैन वी गिव वी हैव ए चॉइस वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू एंड वॉट वी शो इसी तरह कुछ लेना है कुछ चाहना है बोलना है दिस चॉइस इज देयर ऑल द टाइम एंड यमुना से दो चूज वट दे शुड डू एंड नॉट वट दे वॉन्ट टू डू फॉर देम डेट डज नॉट एक्स बिकॉज डेथ इज ए राइटली थिंग फॉर ए पर्सन हु वैल्यूज यू नो स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स ऑफ दिस लाइफ So there was a story which we used to narrate that a sage ji was going in his chariot, 85 year old, and Yamaraj death came, and death said, "Come, Lala ji, your time has come." He said, "Please, please, give me one more day. I am going to the tonsuring ceremony of my great grandson. Just let me see that. No end." No end to ambition, no end to desire. You get it, sir. And he has no one to come and do it. Then the Yamaraj walked down, and there was a young man walking very happily. And uh, Yamaraj said, "Your time has come. We have come to take you." He said, "Let's go. We will walk. Let's go." He said, "No use taking you because <laughs> you are not worried at all." So this is the difference. You know, when uh, after the Mahabharat war. Mahabharat war. The Mahabharat war. Both the elder, elderly people they lost their great grandson also. You know. So Hrithrashtra was very worried. Now the kingdom has passed to Yudhishthir. What will happen to us? You know? We worry. But Yudhishthir, first thing he does after becoming king, he goes to Hrithrashtra and Gandhari and touches their feet and says, "You are our parents." You for you, I am just like the you. You don't know. You please, and they treat them great. Narada used to visit them, and once Narada came and asked Dhritarashtra, "How is everything, Maharaj? How is? Are these people nice to you? Say everybody is nice except for Bhima. You know who when he crosses us, he passes some comment. So what kind of comment? So Bhima say, 'Great grandsons are dead, and you are eating omelette.'" <laughs> Sitting here, by omelette I mean you are enjoying this, whatever you want to eat. Your great grandson perished. Why don't you go to the forest now? It's time for one plus the sanya side, not one plus one plus time. Time is over already. So then Kunti, Dhritra, Astar, and Gandhari they went to the forest in the cross in the Delhi and Agra, and they perished in a forest fire. So you know there is no end to. There has to be sanya. is faint okay today what our modern life teaches us is not sanyam but but indulgence indulgence bahut kapde pade phir bhi gaye dukaan pe dekhe are ye rang mere paas nahi hai wo suit bhi khareed liye are paise hain aur aadhi tachi bhar gayi with clothes that you have not worn This is indulgence. 
थर्ड सेक्शन आगे तो तीन कपड़े रखते थे एक पहना हो एक धोया हो और एक सूखा सूखा हुआ अगले दिन सोफा पहना वो धोया और कोशिश मैं भी करता था और मैं फटे हुए पहनता था तो मुझे डांट पड़ती है फिर ये फटी हुई कमीज पहन और तो जो आनंद फटी हुई कमीज में है क्योंकि आई एम एन एक डोटल ऑल्सो माई एज परमिट्स वेरी स्मॉल बॉय माई फादर्स फ्रेंड यूज टू मैरेज टू कपलेट्स टू मी वन पढ़ोगे लिखोगे होगे खराब खेलोगे कूदोगे बनोगे इजी इफ यू स्टडी टू हार्ड एंड ऑल टाइम यू विल बी वेरी अन हैप्पी प्ले अराउंड एंड यू बिकम एन अवार इन वन सेकेंड जिंदगी जुनून है लाइफ इज ए पैशन फटी हुई पतलून है लाइफ इज लाइक ए टोर्न ट्राउज जितनी देर हंड सके एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन यूज इट उतनी देर हंडाए जा कीप ऑन टाकियाँ लगाए जा कीप ऑन डूइंग कैच दिस इज नॉट ओनली ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लोथ रिलेशनशिप्स रिलेशनशिप्स ऑल्सो यू नो देर वर टाइम वेन इफ यंगर ब्रदर वो गेट नॉट नॉट स्पीक टू दी एल्डर ब्रदर दी एल्डर ब्रदर विल आस्क इन वट इज द मैटर हैव आई डन समथिंग रॉन्ग दीज डेज हिंदी कैन आई से सो वॉट दट इन दी आई थी वो ई थीज मरी आई एम आई ओन एन मरी आई एम अर्निंग माई सर वी डोंट केयर वी वर वी वर ए रिपेयरिंग कल्चर हम रिपेयर करने वाले लोग चीज़ों को भी रिलेशनशिप से बट वी आर फास्ट बिकमिंग डिस्पोज ऑफ डिस्पोज ऑफ कैसे मुझे याद है वेन फ्रॉम सिंगापुर दे विल ब्रिंग ए यू नो ग्राइंडिंग मशीन फॉर द मसाला एंड दैट वुड बी पुट इन दी ग्राइंड नॉट गुड सर सो दी लेडी नेक्स्ट डोर वी लास्ट दी हाउस वाइफ बहन जी वाई डोंट यू यूज इट इतने सर्वेंट्स हैं भाई इट इज सो एक्सपेंसिव दैट्स वन एंड देन दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग इट एंड इफ इट गोज बैक वेन बैक इट वॉज रिपेयर टेकन टू दी यू रिमेंबर द टाइम वेन वी यूज टू रिपेयर थी नाउ वेन समथिंग गोज बैक द पर्सन गोज इन मार्केट में से नहीं कितने की आएगी हाउ मच डज द न्यू वर्ल्ड कॉस्ट है यू वी फाइव स्पेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑन दिस वाई नॉट स्पेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड एट हंड्रेड यू सो थ्रो इट ऑफ Dispose of not only things but also relationships. क्या ज़रूरत है? वो अपना है हम अपने हैं. And uh, in the west, in the morning, when the husband wife go for job, the husband starts praising his wife. So oh, you are so beautiful. I don't know what I can do without you because he is afraid. कि शाम को घर आएगी कि नहीं इन दैट सोसाइटी दी रिलेशनशिप्स आर नॉट सिक्योर ही स्केयर कि शाम को इन दी इवनिंग शी विट कंपेयर और नॉट सो ही स्टार्ट प्लेजिंग एंड हेयर इन आवर हाउस हो वी स्टार्ट ब्रेकिंग ईच अदर हैड इन दी मोर्ड लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर बिकॉज देर इज ए कॉन्फिडेंस कि जो भी हो जाए रहना ही है डिफरेंस रिपेयरिंग कल्चर एंड डिस्पोज ऑफ कल्चर सो संयम सेकेंड वैल्यू एंड आई फिनिश विद दी थर्ड वैल्यू आई विल नॉट टॉक लिटरेचर कॉल मी अगेन सेकेंड वैल्यू इज नियम नियम नॉट इन दी सेंस ऑफ रूल नियम इज ए कैटेगरी ऑफ मेमांसा फिलस इट मीन्स इफ देर आर टू वेज ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग वन ऑफ देम इज to do the preferred way i used to give this gross example in the class sometimes so mujhe pani peena hai the are pani lao that is one way so dusra hai bhai sahab thoda pani milega which is better second one so there is always a preferred way of doing things but these days people argue i am free i am 21 i'll do whatever i want to do The way I want to do, do mind your own business. Niyam, niyam. In jage now there is freedom. Am I right? Pehla sanyam, restraint. Uski jage indulgence. Kar se breakfast karo, fir burger khao, fir kisi ke saath koi coffee pido. 
और फिर घर में जाके शाम को वो मुझे को आज पेट बहुत भारी है भूख नहीं लग रही है कुछ हल्का सा कोई चीज़ बना दो तो वो भी ज़्यादा खा दो वो हल्का भी बहुत ज़्यादा खा दो तो ये तो हल्का है तो संयम इंटेलिजेंस नियम फ्रीडम एंड थर्ड इज श्रद्धा एवरेंस रेवरेंस आवर कल्चर इज रेवरेंस नॉट ओनली टू पीपल बट टू एनिमल्स बर्ड्स एंड टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू नो इन द इवनिंग वी वर अवर फादर्स विल ग्रैंड फादर्स विल वी वर टू हिट समथिंग समथिंग लाइंग ऑन द फ्लोर विद अ फुट दिस इज टू वेर यू हिटिंग इट विद योर फुट पिक इट अप पिक इट अप एंड पुट इट सम बिकॉज जड़ चेतन नो डिफरेंस वट इज कॉल जड़ इवन दैट हैज सम फॉर्म ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस दैट कॉन्शियसनेस इज इन डीप स्लीप वेरी डीप स्लीप यू नो इफ यू इफ यू हैव ए पीस ऑफ आयरन और पीस ऑफ ब्रॉन्स यू कीप इट इन द सेम प्लेस केयरफुली फोर्टी ईयर्स लेटर वेन यू सी इट इट यू डू डिफरेंट Why do people park their cars in shade and not in the sun? Well, just that we don't stand in the sun; we stand in the shade. Our complexion becomes dark. The car's complexion also becomes dark. <laughs> Why don't we drive the car rashly? Why don't we drive our body rashly? No difference. Only our consciousness is wakeful consciousness. In the plants, it is dormant. In the objects, it is in deep sleep, and there is consciousness. So, people, there is a very nice book. If you get it, read it. The Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. The Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. See how the man and the machine become one. One. And uh, from the sound of the machine, the man knows what is ailing the machine. Hmm? They become one. So. Reverence for things. In Haryana, you will find farmers' households where five generations of old cows are also there. They can't get out, they can, but they are looked after. And the man will say, oh, "You see, the cow, the milk of this cow was drunk by my grandpa <laughs> or my father." They are looked after. Now these days we sell off. One thing is not useful. We sell off to objects, people. One big, big, our here principle is that big adults should do the right thing. Parents do the right thing. Look after the parents. And the third big rule is guiding people. Parents. The third rule is to make sure your daughter's wedding is done. This is the law, and it is clearly stated. A man who does not look after the parents, or who does not marry off his daughter to a worthy son-in-law, he is bound to go to hell. He is bound to go to hell. अब ये सोशल नियम है, इनको गार्ड दी गई है, ये प्रेसिडेंट के लिए करना चाहिए। तो ये तो सोशल नियम है, ना सोशल। You don't in India, you don't expect your daughters always to find their own boys. If they find one, these days parents ask. Hey, beta, do you have somebody in mind? They ask. But if you don't have in mind, when we ask our daughter, she says, "No, your job, do it." <laughs> <laughs> And she would go to cinema, see pictures also with me. She not go with her friends. So when she asked her, I couldn't ask her. Hey, do you have somebody in mind? Well, no, you better arrange something for me. <laughs> Very clear. So it's a duty. So the we are with three kinds of elderly people. वे वृद्ध दो हुआ एल्डर टू यू इन एज ज्ञान वृद्ध दो हुआ एल्डर टू यू इन नॉलेज ह्यूमन इट पर्सन इज एंड धर्म वृद्ध ए मैन हु इज सीनियर टू यू इन राइचियसनेस राइचियसनेस सो यू फाइंड एटी ईयर ओल्ड पीपल टच इन दीट ऑफ यंग पीपल हु आर ज्ञानी और लाइक दैट दिस इज चरक चरक संहिता इज इज ए बुक ऑन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज सेंग पीपल हु 
touch the feet of the elderly, they will never suffer from mental ill. Because they inculcate those values, right? And also when you repeatedly bend, the girls can have smart waist. Huh? If they bend repeatedly and touch the feet. And fat boys can reduce their fat. <laughs> this is a gross benefit. But mental ailments. After mental ailments come from your selfishness. If you think of yourself. But if you treat others with respect, you will never get mental ailments. Anyways, this Shraddha is also now is replaced by irreverence. We have become an irreverent people. Nothing for nothing we have respect now. Nothing we have respect. And uh, the problem is result is our children are suffering from value conflict. Something they have inherited from the tradition, from their parents, from their religion. And when they come to the universities, they learn the other things. So they are always divided. What to do? What is to be done? Right? Am I right? Find your own answer. Thank you very much. <laughs>